what can we be talking about other than money? We're talking about the Utah Jazz, folks. We've talked about Shaq versus Spider. We've talked about Donovan Mitchell going cold during very important moments and whether the Utah Jazz can actually win a title, which I don't think that they can, even though this new Anthony Davis news makes me very confused. Not a lot of love for Utah so much this year, but we have this is a love for Utah segment. So that changes right now. Utah may be the most fun team to watch in the league because they are free money. Oh, yeah. Easy money sniper. The Jazz are a gambler's wet dream. Like an ATM machine, you don't even have to put your card in. Yeah, they really they are. just spit out money to you. Doesn't matter who they play, when they play, where they play, how much the spread is, money. Free money. Just, like, go and get them. You don't even need to watch the game. You don't need to sweat it. (laughs) They're, like, up at 7, up 7 at halftime, up 20 by the end of the game. In Milwaukee, in L.A., at home, doesn't matter. Just lay on a beach, get a massage, and collect your Utah Jazz money. Rinse, repeat. So how good (laughs) have they been for gamblers? I mean, enough that I'm making a gambling segment in the show that's not about X's and O's, not about nerd shit. Historically good. We haven't seen a run like the Utah Jazz are having in 30 years. That's how good. Like, take pleasure in that because this shit is not coming around all that often. 19-2 and against the spread in 21 games. Holy shit. It's nuts. One 10 and 0 stretch, one 8 and 0 stretch, which is where we currently are right now, folks, in the middle of this hot streak. What is going on in Salt Lake City? I think it's just a lack of weaknesses. Like when you look at this lineup, like they're not weak anywhere, and every single player is good and like deserves to be getting minutes on an NBA team. They're just, yeah, they've got it all. The emergence of Jordan Clarkson. Yeah, 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 yeah. He has taken that. He was like a quote-unquote six man for them. Signed that deal, and he put 40 on Ben Simmons' head. 40. They are a top five offensive team, top five defensive team. I'm not going to bore you with the numbers, but they're incredible on both sides of the ball, and when they decide it's beatdown time, like they did a couple of nights ago against the Clippers, Mm -hmm. it's clamps. Like, you can't even get a shot off. Like, you are running around like a fifth-grade boys basketball team, like, (laughs) trying to shoot from your hip, and, like, you've got that one big kid on, and he can just block the shit out of you. That's the Jazz. They just clamp. They are a buzzsaw. The Clippers were tied going into the fourth quarter, and then the Jazz decided, you know what? It's time for us to stop playing around with these fools. 10-0 run. They never even got close. I mean, you would think that a buzzsaw like that would get all of the attention from gamblers, right? That would inevitably balance things out. And then Vegas would change the lines, and then things would not be so good for us. Increase the spread, making it impossible for us to beat the line. But, no, 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 that's not what's (laughs) happening. The biggest reason for that is crazy. What do you think the biggest reason for that is? Ooh, uh, that's tough. Uh, I don't know. Why don't you tell me? Sleep. Okay. The reason why is sleep. The majority of our country's population lives, 45% of them live on the East Coast. 15% of our country's population live in the Pacific time. So when the Jazz play the Clippers, that's at 10.30 p.m. our time, and we know our boy Marty likes to get his sleep on a (laughs) Sunday night. So there's a lot of folks like you, and that is even more weighted towards the sports fans of the world. So even more than 45% of folks who watch the NBA are on the East Coast. 15% of sports fans or less in that Pacific West Coast time zone. Who knows how many of those people are gamblers. So that East Coast gambling bias is real. This is a trash uh, time zone to watch sports in. It is maybe the worst time zone to watch sports in. I have to go to bed at 1, 1 1.30 a.m. just to watch the Jazz. And then, since West Coast teams play more games within their conference and then their division than anywhere else, that translates into a ton of weekday games that start at bedtime. (laughs) Right? Right. Folks, if you don't have a flexible sleep schedule, flexible work schedule, or just a degenerate gambler, you're probably not going to catch a lot of these marquee matchups that the Jazz are in. 
On top of that, the Jazz, as we know, I've slandered them enough times, they're not a sexy team. They're not a, a traditionally sexy market. Like, what's going on in Utah? Uh, like, Mormonism? Right, yeah. And mountains? And, like, some wacky woman who's putting on a referee outfit and, like, creating these little bills for Donovan Mitchell. So, if this was the Lakers or the Clippers or the Celtics, for example, that were hot, hot, oh, I mean, this line would have closed up like... Yeah, I mean, the Utah Jazz will always have a boring connotation on them, whether it's fair or unfair. Yeah, and I think it's very, very unfair now. That's the branding of it all. So, this is so crazy. This is a couple of examples of how crazy... This is. On February 9th, Celtics, slumping, went to Utah. Jazz four-point favorites. At that point, Utah, 15-2 and two against the spread in their last 17. So they were pretty fucking hot, we'll say. 55% of the public money went to Boston. <laughs> then, and of course, Jazz won by 14. The next game, February 12th, Bucks went to Salt Lake City. And Utah was a two to two, two and a half point favorite. And you know what? 60% of the money went to, to Milwaukee. Holy shit. And you know what happened then? And at that point, that Utah was a team that was 16 and two in their last 18. And straight up and against the spread. And again, Utah won by 14. And yet, people, these lines are still tiny. Doesn't <laughs> make any damn sense. So no one believes in them because why? As uh, Nate Robinson would say, they're Utah trash, trash Utah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mormon capital of the U.S., like one of the worst arenas to be a fan in, rampant polygamy, you know, whatever. Utah, not a state that you're thinking about when you're looking for an exciting, sexy basketball team. So don't sleep. Folks, I don't care if you're a casual fan or not. If you want free money, until things start to level themselves out, if you want as close as you can get to a sure thing, bet the Utah Jazz, cash it. This league, responsibly, of course. This league, 